All right, so today I'm going to show you how I built this linear motor. So I've been wanting to build a humanoid robot for quite some time now, and I thought what if I could use linear motors as actuators? The problem is linear motors are expensive, so I figured why not try building them myself. Now, I don't have much experience building electric motors, but a few months ago I made a video where I asked ChatGPT to design an electric motor for me, and surprisingly it actually worked. So I figured let's try it again, but this time I'm going to make a linear motor. Before starting I already had a rough idea of what I wanted this motor to look like. While experimenting I found that these magnets from China fit perfectly inside 2020 aluminium extrusion. And that got me thinking. A lot of 3D printers, especially older ones, use these wheels that run inside these V-slots on the 2020 aluminium extrusion. So why not use this setup as a guide wheel for the linear motor? That became the design constraint that I gave ChatGPT, and this is what it came up with. There is a clear improvement from the last time I tried this. This time ChatGPT didn't just reason through the design, it searched the web and even generated an image, which it couldn't do six months ago. Here's the image that it gave me. It is not perfect, but not bad either. Let's look at what it got right first. So it correctly pictured the magnets embedded in the 2020 rail, which is very cool. It suggested using wheels, even though they are oriented the wrong way, I still you know, kind of get the vision. The coil placement was also off, they should be vertical, and in this image they are round horizontally, which is also wrong, but generally it got the concept, which I think is really interesting. Uh, still not bad at all. It also gave me detailed calculations like pole pitch, dimensions, wire gauge and the number of turns I should use. One thing ChatGPT still can't do is generate usable 3D models, so I tried using a tool called zoo.dev which lets you describe a part in text and get a 3D model. So I, I tried it, um, I didn't quite get it to work, it got close but some parts kept getting messed up so I had to clean up the cat myself. So this is what I came up with. It's a very simple motor layout. It has space for three coils and then some mounting holes to connect it to the rails basically. So let's go ahead and manufacture this thing. And that's where the sponsor of today's video comes in, JLCNC. They offer affordable CNC milling services and it's quite easy to use. So you just go to their website and you can upload your uh, 3d file right here you can select whatever material you want to made out of i chose aluminum for this project and they will give you an instant quote on how much it's going to cost and once the part is approved they will start manufacturing for me it took around three days for my part to be manufactured and shipped which is quite a speedy service a couple of days later the component arrived in this nice blue box so let's do a little unboxing All right, so I think this thing looks really amazing. I've never made anything out of metal before, so I think it's just really cool to see it in real life. I think it's awesome that you can just design something on your computer, upload it to JLC CNC, and a few days later, you've got an actual physical part you can hold. If you guys need anything manufactured, I highly recommend JLC CNC. They also offer 3D printing and PCB manufacturing services at low prices, so go check them out, link will be in the description. All right, so now let's go ahead and build this thing.
Building the motor itself was surprisingly straightforward. The parts came together really cleanly and the design worked exactly as intended. But then came the hard part, building the control system. At first, I wanted to build my own driver board. So I bought these MOSFET modules and I planned to control them using an Arduino. The idea was to switch each coil on and off individually to move the motor. I wired everything up, plugged it in, and it didn't work. It wasn't moving, it was just moving back and forth a tiny bit, which was not good at all. So I had to go back to ChatGPT for help. And we decided to revise the motor to use a Y configuration. That meant soldering the ends of all three coils together, which is a more traditional way of wiring a BLDC motor. With that set up, I could now use a commercial driver board, so I went with the simple FOC from MakerBase. The driver is actually really powerful, it runs on an ESP32 that controls up to two motors. I'm only using one right now, but it's nice to have that flexibility. Now I just needed some code. Luckily, there's a lot of documentation online, and of course, I had ChatGPT to help me write the script. All right, so this is the code that ChatGPT came up with. It's mostly based on the open loop position example from the FOC library. And surprisingly enough, the first time I uploaded this, it worked straight away, which absolutely shocked me. So yeah, ChatGPT has definitely improved in the coding department. Uh, but let me explain how it sort of works. So you open up the serial monitor in the Arduino IDE and you can enter a target position. And this is a T value like T8 or T minus 10. And as soon as you hit enter, it will move the motor towards this target position. And it moves quite smoothly and quite fast from one position to the other. There is however one major problem, um, this motor doesn't produce any torque at all, so I can easily stop it with my hands and I very ambitiously tried to move a kilogram weight around but there was no chance, it would not move an inch. So even smaller objects like this tape measure, it struggled with moving. So yeah, it hardly produces any torque at all. And that's kind of a bummer because that means that we can't use it for a lot of applications. But for something that doesn't require a lot of torque such as a 3D printer, this might actually be a quite interesting option. Uh, but yeah, this thing could use some major redesign. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And yeah, that's basically all I have for this video. Make sure to check out this video sponsor, JLCNC. They provide an awesome CNC service. Go check them out, link is in the description. Make sure to like, subscribe, and see you guys next time.